In this video, we are going to solve some examples on steady state errors and steady state performance. Okay, so the idea is we have a control system and we will have different kind of uh, standard inputs such as unit step, unit trap, or unit acceleration. And we will try to compute E of K as K is going to infinity. Okay, so uh, in this problem first, it's given that GC of C, which is the controller, GC of C is equal to what? K times Z over Z minus one. Technically, this is a PI control, not I control integral action, which is kind of uh, weird, but it's just uh, an example. Okay, so this is the controller, and the discretized version of the plan G of Z is directly given as what Z minus one divided by Z minus zero point five. Okay, so what we do is we first start with computing G all of Z, G all of Z feed forward transfer function, which is the transfer function from the error. Uh, to the discretized version of f of, of t or f of k, let's say f of k, not a big deal, uh, is equal to, as you can see, uh, this is equal to k times z divided by z minus 0 0.5. Okay, so this is the g all of c, that's good. Uh, so we can write g all of c in standard form as this. Okay, so okay, it's in already in standard form k times c divided by c minus 0 0.5. Uh, as we know, this is a type 0 system. Okay, and gdc1 is equal to 2k. So dc gain of the uh, isolated part is equal to 2 times k. Okay, so the idea is computing the state error for unit step, unit tramp, and unit acceleration. Okay, so since it's a type 0 system, errors that state for unit step is equal to 1 over 1 plus GDC, which is equal to 2K. Okay, so that's good. So we computed the steady state error. And as you can see, as K increases, steady state error decreases. That's good. Okay, so if we uh, change the input to unit ramp, so this is step, this is ramp, error steady state. So if your error is constant for the unit step, if you change the order or type of the input, it will go to infinity. So error in infinity, which is also bad, okay? So similarly, for v, if you go to unit acceleration, error state state is going to infinity, okay? So it's obvious because the opponent transfer function, it's a type zero system, such that we have a constant error uh, in unit step, uh, error is infinity for uh, other cases. Okay, that's good. So let's change our input system. Okay, so what's the system? That's good. Okay, good. So what we changed is this. Uh, G of Z is same. Okay, G of Z is equal to Z minus 1, Z minus 0 0.5. Okay, G C of Z is equal to K Z square divided by Z minus 1 square. So it's like a, a double integrated control, which is also a little bit weird, but it's not uh, very important uh, for practical purposes, not uh, for teaching purposes. So let's write G all of C is equal to, if we write that, we will find it, K Z square, okay, Z minus 1, Z minus 0 0.5. I guess it's true, it should be true. Okay, so let's write it in standard form. This is equal to 1 over z minus 1 times k z square z minus 0 0.5. Okay, so this is g dc of z, and this is z to the power n, and as you can see, n is equal to 1. So it's a type 1 system. Okay, so which is kind of uh, simplifies our uh, calculations. So for unit step, unit step. Okay, since the type 1 system error state state is equal to 0, okay, for unit ramp error state state is constant, we know that, and it's equal to 1 over GDC, GDC1, or DC gain of the system's KDC, it's equal to, uh, if I give 1, it will be equal to 2K. So it's the same thing, it's 2K, 1 over 2K. So if K is increases, error state state decreases, that's good, okay, we already know that. So for unit acceleration input, we know that error state state is infinite. 
Okay, so once you've constructed your system and computed the opponent feed for transfer function in Z domain, of course, this is a digital control system, uh, computing consider is uh, pretty straightforward. Okay, as you can see, just uh, look at the results that we already derived there in the lecture notes. Okay, so the main point in uh, statistical performance analysis computing the uh, opponent transfer function, uh, determining the uh, order of the system or type of the system, then everything is very easy. Okay, so you can apply this for uh, any type of uh, standard digital control system. Okay, in the next lecture, I will talk about how we can compute the feed forward open transfer function for different kind of topologies, which may not be uh, straightforward if you look at first, but uh, with some operations and other kind of computations, you can uh, convert it into a standard form that we already know uh, in uh, this and the previous video.